Hello and welcome everyone to season two of Expedition Online. I'm Jonathan Dykes. Joining me in the commentators booth tonight is the winner of season one, Jessica Martin. How you doing today, Jess? Good. How are you? I'm ready for season two to kick off. Oh, I am amped up. Can't wait to get things going. How about you let uh, those out there who may not uh, be familiar with our game know what it's all about? Yeah, um, for those of you who may not have seen my triumphant season, Expedition Online is a three-week social strategy game where we'll put a group of 16 explorers through a grueling series of mental and physical challenges where their ultimate goal is to be the last explorer standing. Yeah, these players are from all over North America and they will be attempting to avoid being deserted at the crossroads in order to become the ultimate explorer. Um, so the game is played out over a series of rounds each round consisting of an exemption challenge and a crossroads. Yep. The party who wins exemption challenge is safe from having to attend crossroads. Uh, crossroads is a place where the losing party will go and be forced to vote out one of their members. Definitely not where these explorers want to be. Um, now, somewhere in the middle of the game, we're going to reach the rendezvous point. At this point, the parties will dissolve and will become one party, switching things up from the team dynamic to the individual game. And all players will be going to crossroads. Only one player will receive exemption at the exemption challenge. And this will continue until there's either two or three players remaining. Along the way, there will be some rounds that have twists. There will be advantages that are thrown out, including a compass, which will allow the explorer who possesses it to negate any votes that are cast against them if they play it before the votes are read. There will be plenty of other advantages thrown out and even some disadvantages along the way. Yeah, definitely going to be twisting things up and keeping these players on their toes. Uh, they are only able to communicate through video messenger on Discord. So there's no text messaging um, as part of this game. They're only allowed to video message during the allotted time uh, that the game is played out. Uh, there are multiple rooms that they can bounce in and out of, but they have to keep in mind that the other party members can see which rooms that they are in. And they have five uh, rooms available to, to them. The shelter is a room that anyone can go into at any time. Um, they have the field that allows four players. The outpost is for three. Uh, by the river and the fire are for one-on-one -on -one conversations. So, lots of room for them to uh, converse, to mm -hmm. little uh, scheming, exactly, and get things going. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> hey, hey. Hello. Hey. hey <laughs> We're all wrong. Yeah, this is uh, a lot of people in one room. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh... <laughs> We just got unleashed into a free for all with everyone else who's playing the game. It's a little awkward at first because we were all in this one big video voice chat together, and you could tell people were uh, a little awkward it out and not really sure if they should be making the first uh, move, really. It felt like college orientation all over again. But eventually we were all told, hey, skedaddle, you have to split up into these groups. Okay, so your boy's back for the 2-0, so we'll see how this goes. Expedition Online was strange, uh, to say the least. What started as just kind of a mild and awkward first day ended up getting a little bit crazy. Day, I get zero down, and it was awkward. Uh, it felt a little awkward. Uh, it was pretty interesting. I took notes. I mean, someone thankfully suggested we all do introductions with like brief background, and that gave me the opportunity to get a couple things down on each person so that I look like a good listener, a good social person, maybe someone that someone wants to work with. Um, just a good illusion to keep up in the game. We got broken up after being given the roles into the shelter. And my thought at that point was, I'm not going to be the first one to leave here. That just isolates you completely. Seems like everybody was on that same wavelength, though. So eventually one of the mods comes in and basically says, you have 10 seconds to get out of here. At which point chaos basically breaks out. Um, well, Kyle, I think that was his name. He was the one who left the group chat when everyone was in it together and he went to a room where I saw a moderator and I in 
personally, I thought like, okay, he probably thought the same thing as me, which was if a moderator sitting in a different room, there's probably some clue or something like that in there. And I wanted to go, but you can't be the only one to leave when everyone in the game is sitting in one room. So I was like, okay, shit. One still at least was aware that Kyle left. I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of it. Um, I don't really trust him already. I feel like he's gonna be really gung-ho with playing the game hard and but that might be able to shield me, so I don't. I wouldn't mind being on his tribe either. Um, oh, who, by the way, uh, Kyle, I think that's his name, left uh, multiple times, I think, trying to get people to go with him. But I kept on saying, mm, I'm not going. I'm not going. That puts a target on you. And it did. That puts a target on his back, and I made sure to point that out to other people. I quickly look over to the other rooms, and I see one room that has a capacity of like six or seven, and the rest that were a bunch of twos, and realize a couple things quickly. First, if you can get in that six-person room, that's probably a pretty good place to make an alliance. I'm really glad when um, we were kind of forced into picking a place to go, I, I got separated into um, a smaller group with uh, six people, and I can already tell that um, Chantel, Justin, Hannah, um, Gideon and Garrett, those are who I was with the majority of the time. I think that they're going to be really fun people to play this game with. Um, we talked about if, you know, we happen to get split onto two different parties, like we would try to stick together. Um, we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen. And there were six of us allowed in that room. So five of us pretty quickly latched onto each other. And after getting to know each other for like an hour, we decided to make a little alliance. Um, so I really like Chantel. Gideon, he is gonna be very fun to watch, I think. He's a character. Um, Garrett was nice too, but he dipped. So we're not sure if he's gonna stay in our alliance or not. Um, Justin, he was the core. Maddie was part of the core alliance and then Jennifer came in later. So I'd say about nine people know who I am and maybe think I'm aligned. So I spoke to Ryan, uh, he seems great. I'll probably, I mean, he seems, seems like someone I'd like to work with. And then I left in order to kind of uh, remove the target from myself. Kyle jumped in the room with Ryan. I jumped in the room with Jennifer and Jennifer was uh, pretty forward about the fact that that was four people right there. And it's I'm glad to see there are so many young people in this game. Jack, Gideon, Gabe. Maybe we could start a youth alliance or something. We have that in common. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, uh, Rob comes in. I remember just from kind of those awkward introductions we were doing that he lives in DC. I live in DC. I figured that can be a good way to start chatting. So I think he can be a really good ally. The other thing I was doing, though, was I was looking to see, all right, who's in that six-person room? Because that's either going to be a strong alliance that I need to try to hook up with and get on the right side of the numbers, or I need to be very wary of who those people are. Definitely paying attention to who's been talking to one another and what kind of alliances I need to look out for. The first time I played very straight up loyal, you know, I took the numbers to the end, took the two people I needed to the end, and that's it, and got the win. But... I do want to play a different type of game in that I really want to play a very evil and manipulative game and we'll see how it goes. The hope is that if anyone's seen me play before, which it looks like Jack's there, which I've played with Jack, so, and maybe Kyle has seen it, I think he might have. So if anyone has seen me play, that they see a side of me that's very just straightforward not that hyper strategic just did the right thing and got to the end but the hope is i can use that to kind of manipulate people and maybe get uh pull a few over some of these people and uh you know obviously that's some arrogance talking there so we'll see how this goes uh interestingly enough garrett and i participated on a two-day version of expedition online and garrett won so I'm not really going to use that information to blackmail him or something, but I do want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him so we can get on the same page on how we're going to be playing that. I was so surprised at how nonchalantly Will was talking about his expertise of Survivor. I don't know if the other contestants are thinking the same thing as I am, but being so vocal, 
so early on in this game about your knowledge of it might land you in hot water. I thought Will G um, made a pretty big mistake when he uh, exposed how big of a fan of Survivor he was. He was talking about every season in great detail. And I mean, I'm as much of a fan as, if not bigger than him, but I'm not gonna reveal that information because that instantaneously reveals that you're aware of the strategy that goes into Survivor and the manipulation. Hey, Zero did not go great for me. I think I talked way too much, way too much. Um, people didn't seem annoyed by it, so I guess that's good. And it was bad. They were like talking about how he was annoying and how the super fan, of course, is the one to talk. And then I was just like, oh crap, because I kind of engaged with him a little bit. So I had to backtrack. I was like, oh yeah, I, I just tried to chime in because I saw a GIF. I don't really know about Nicaragua. So that was awkward. Um, but actually, I kind of liked the guy. I wouldn't mind being on his tribe. I feel like he would be easy to throw under the bus if I had to. Uh, one person I either want to work well with or get them out right away is probably going to be Will. It's not something that I can't recover from, but hopefully. Um, to be honest, I was totally anxious to even log on, but just getting to know the people that were playing the game it actually um, calmed those nervous jitters down by a lot. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where things go. We really didn't make too many predictions or anything, but I like my chances. Best case scenario, I win again. Worst case scenario, I fall flat on my face and both sound like a, a fun way to go out. Welcome to Expedition Online Season 2. I am here with our team captains, Ethan and Janet. Thank you for joining us, Ethan and Janet. Are you guys excited? Extremely. I can I this is like I'm really like trying to get all the pieces working. Uh, yeah. Well, I've been waiting my whole life. I'm not going to lie to you. So, uh, I'm so excited right now. Finally, I, I get to pick the teams like, you know, before they're picked for me. Now, I'm in control. You are you guys are going to be in total control. They know that Janet and I have a little side bet, so like I hope my tribe crushes Janet's tribe for tribe. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see about that. We got secret <laughs> moves. They, they don't know that, but I think that you should tell them uh, once you join the call. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Expedition Online Season 2. I'm excited tonight to introduce you to our 16 explorers competing this season. They all met each other yesterday. Day zero, we dropped them off into the same party. They had a chance for an hour to talk to each other and none of them fell for it. They all know what we're here to do tonight, so let's just get right to it. Tonight, we're gonna do our first activity. It is the meet and greet, and we will be picking teams. The meet and greet uh, is a 90 second elevator speech. I'm gonna call all on each of you in a particular order, uh, and you're gonna give us your 90 second elevator speech. We need to hear your name, tell us the charity that you're playing for, and you need to give us one reason why somebody else in this season should pick you to be on their team. Who wants to volunteer to be the team captain? Oh, I love it. Anybody? Ooh. This is our cue, oh. Ethan. Started. You guys are going to make Wait. me pick the team captains? I'm so nervous I'm not going to get this. You should guess the number, and whoever gets the number closest should be the team leader. That's like a that. good idea. That's a good yeah. idea. That's I have cool. a better idea. Let's bring uh, our team captains in. We have other people to pick your teams for you. So if our team captains could unmute their mics and turn their cameras on, please. This is actually the anticipation is great. Oh. Well, hello there, everyone. I've been spying on you for the last little while. My name's Ethan Zahn. I was the loser of Survivor Winners at War, loser of Survivor All-Stars, but I happened to eke out a win on Survivor Africa in 2001 when all of you were probably still in the womb. So wonderful to meet everyone, and uh, congratulations on making it this far. Hello, everybody. This is Janet Corbin from Season 39, Island of the Idols. I see a lot of very excited people here, and I'm excited to be here. But I want you to know that my team is going to beat Ethan's team, and we're going to do this the right way. And I'm 
Come on now. I don't know about that. So Jan and I, we got a little side bet going on where, uh, you know, we got pride in this. So I have the names that I want right there. I'll be helping pick the teams along with Janet. Uh, so I don't know what happens now, all right, but yeah. uh, all I know is I'm going to win. All right. Hey well, th thank you, Ethan and Janet, for joining us to pick the teams. Uh, I wish the players were excited about this, but, you know, we, we could just move <laughs> on. Um, we're going to let Janet have the first pick tonight. Uh, we are going to pick you guys in groups of four. So they're going to they're going to pick four players and then we'll go to the next four. So Janet, you pick order. between Will, Justin, Gideon or Rob. OK, my first pick is Justin. All right, Justin, congratulations. You're on Team Janet. Oh, right. that's my uh, I thought he was my first, first pick. pick. Who, who am I picking from again? You can pick between <laughs> Will, Gideon and Rob. Will, Gideon, and Rob. I'm going to go with uh, Will, because you said I'm your favorite. I got to go with you, my friend. Good job. I know, that was man. Smart. What a, what a, what a uh, chance they had, you know? Right there with you <laughs> listening in the room. What a chance. Glad you guys didn't say bad stuff about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah go ahead. I was going to say, Janet, it's, it's, it's your pick between uh, Justin's out. Uh, Gideon and Rob. And I am going to be picking Rob. All right. And Rob, um, you, I expect to see you develop some humor from the people on your tribe. <laughs> and I want some good jokes <laughs> at the first tribal council. I'll do my best I, to I'd get like some you to good one-liners for, for you. Me first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, you can see it right there. Gideon, just so you know, you're on my list. So uh, I wanted to uh, Gideon. Ethan. Ethan. My man, what's up? Show Ethan. it to me. Oh, oh, I knew it. There I you knew go. it. Ethan, I knew it. Yes. You told Woo. me I'm wrong. You told Thank me I'm wrong. Thank you for That's your donation, awesome. my friend. Oh. Yes. Thank you so much. I love it. This is good. This is a sign. In my religion, we call it Beshert. <laughs> is that a little bit of bribery going on there? I'll take bribes. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> awesome. Um, all right. So next, Ethan's going to get the first pick out of the next group. Okay. Uh, talk to me. And we have Chantel, Hannah, Maddie, and Dakota. Oh, Maddie. That was how I did it wrong. Um, okay. Repeat that. It's Chantel, Hannah, Maddie and Dakota. Oh my God. This, is this is tough. I loved all of you, by the way. So you know that this is really tough. But, uh, you know, I told myself, like, I'm a big charity guy. And I was going with, like, which charities I uh, like the best. And my screensaver was my baby little cat, Lucy. And cats, they stem from bigger cats, maybe a tiger or so. So, Hannah, <laughs> welcome to Team old school Ethan <laughs> all right Janet okay. it's it's your pick uh, okay. you can pick between Maddie Chantel and Dakota Maddie Chantel and Dakota well, I've taken my notes on them oh, oh Dakota's okay. my top yeah no I want her all right. <laughs> Where is she? There she is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this is tough for me because, you know, like, once again, I am a big fan, Special Olympics fan, and like I appreciate the uh, the, the little camps for you know, people who are sick. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew, but there was a time in my life when I was sick. Uh, uh, really? But anyway, so uh, I got to go with Chantel. Chantel, welcome to the uh. tribe. Welcome. Okay. Love sickle cell anemia. So that then I have Maddie, right? You have Maddie, yeah. Maddie, Maddie. welcome, welcome. I'm excited. All right, so the next group of players we've got to pick from are Gabe, Garrett, Daniel, and Jared. And since Ethan picked first, we're gonna we're gonna go with Janet uh, with the first pick on this one in this group. I'm gonna go on this time. I'm gonna go with Jared. Jared. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. Threw Ethan for a loop. He's yeah, I did. I got to keep him off of his. It, it's nothing personal, guys. I got to keep Ethan off his, his balance there so that right. way our tribe can bond a little better. <laughs> 
Um, I'm, I gotta go with uh, Garrett. I gotta go with Garrett. Hi. Yep. Garrett. All right. Garrett is on Ethan's Ethan's team. My second guy is Daniel. Great, great. Gabriel, you're with me. Thank you. This is good. Gabriel, All right, Garrett, so we got, got well-rounded Garrett math Gabe guys. On... We got Gideon with the old school. We got Tigers. What else do we need? Will <laughs> got the biggest microphone there. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we got we got Garrett and Gabe on on Team Ethan, and we got Jared and Daniel on Team Janet. Uh, Jared, just so you know, I wanted the fro. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted you on my team because of the fro and only the fro. But Will, it's you can world. handle this for me. It means the world to me. But I, Janet, we're gonna win. And this I'm thing. having a bad hair day too. Just so you, guys. you got it, Jared. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna hide some idols in that hair. <laughs> yeah, my, my hair will be a, a decent substitute. It'll, yeah, it'll, it gets poofy. It gets poofy. <laughs> you guys know you're not allowed to shower for the full duration of the game, right? I think yeah, they've been informed. Okay, good. No showering. Okay. Very little eating. Great. Yeah. Um, I, just so you know, everyone, I, I fasted leading up to today's uh, team picking. He did. He told us that too. So he's not. I didn't completely that. fast. I, I I'm just under about 900 calories. I'm all in with <laughs> you guys. I'm all in. I believe in you. All right. Well, let's find out who who the last two players are on each team. The last group we have: Ryan, Jack. Kyle and Jennifer. Jennifer is not currently here. Yeah. Uh, but we're still gonna like pick Sandra. her and, and put her on a team. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan. What? <laughs> Jennifer, sit out bench. Okay, and so uh, Janet had the last pick, so so we're gonna let Ethan pick first here. All right. So we got. Uh, well, Jennifer, it's not you. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna go with Jack. All right, Jack is Jack, on team. Jack, my Ethan. man. All right, I have my pick. Got a lot of personality on my team. My Janet. pick is Kyle. Kyle, oh, on yes, yes. Good. Kyle, you're a parent. <laughs> We're gonna use that love. Good. To make it work. <laughs> and then, uh... Brian. All right, here we Brian. go. We here we go. Ryan on team. We got a very well-rounded team. I'm really excited here. It, yeah, but I got the secret. I got the secret sauce with Jennifer because we don't know what we're <laughs> right, expecting right. there. <laughs> <laughs> she is a ringer. She is a ringer. <laughs> That's right. Just wait. <laughs> awesome. So wait, everyone on Ethan's tribe, raise your hand for me. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Let me take a look. Oh my God! Look at this. We're gonna make a calendar after this event. This yeah. is incredible. But notice right, my guys, group good doesn't. Luck. Good luck, Ethan Tribe. I I, I wish luck. you luck because we don't even have to raise our hand because we know we're the winners. So one more thing about the game: our players are playing for their own charity, but they're also playing for their team captains' charities. So we will be raising money for the players and the captains. So maybe Ethan and, and Janet, if you guys could take a minute and talk about your charities as well and let the players know what they're playing for. Sure. Janet. Okay. I was going to let you go first. I was trying to be nice. Um, I am playing for give kids the world, which is very near and dear to my heart. Many of the survivors heart. Ethan also participates in it. And it's, it's a, it's like make a wish foundation foundation they are based in Kissimmee Florida and they bring in kids from all over the world and they get a whole week where they celebrate different holidays and have Christmas and talent shows and Disney partners with them and it's a it's an absolutely wonderful organization and the kids and families connect for a lifetime yeah, it's awesome. awesome. And they also happen to have fan events. So sometimes yeah. each year when the world's open, they have a big fan event where like over 100 reality stars from Survivor, Amazing Race, Big Brother show up and fans can come hang out, bring family, friends, all that stuff. I am, you guys are, thank you so much for playing for my charity. You will be representing Safe Roots Foundation, which is different than the Grassroots Soccer Foundation that you saw on Survivor. Safe Roots Foundation is an organization um, where we support the best evidence-based teenage drug 
misuse prevention programs across the country. And so uh, we believe that uh, we developed a really incredible program for after school sport coaches to be able to help identify kids who may be misusing as well as educate their peers on how to identify other people who are misusing uh, drugs, alcohol and all that stuff. So that's what you're playing for. And uh, I truly appreciate it. That's that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Before you go, you've, you've played three times, and if this is wrong, the diehard fans are going to kill me. But uh, it was once as a with new players, and then twice with returning players. These guys, they don't know each other. Do you have any advice for our players uh, playing on a season where uh, you're playing with a bunch of strangers? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, keep your mouth shut. Because if you keep your mouth shut long enough, someone else will say it. That was my whole big, big advice. But uh, um, yeah, you know, Survivor's a game of relationships. It really, in the end, it comes to down to like how you interact with the other people, how you work with other people that determine how far and how well you're going in the game. I truly believe that. Um, you know, I, I played that way in Africa and on this most recent season. Um, but um, yeah, I truly believe the relationship side of it, the social side of it is a, a huge part of the game. All right, and, and Janet, we want to keep the, the rivalry going, so can you tell us why Ethan is wrong and, <laughs> and maybe give uh, your team different advice? Well, I selected people because they are, look like a lot of them are people, people, people. And I think you need to play Survivor by making friends with everybody and getting to know who they are, not telling them who you are. That's the biggest thing. Tell them, ask, bring out them, find out who they are and see how you can make everybody's talents work for you. But awesome. keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that, that's good advice. Uh, Ethan, Janet, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, thank you for picking your teams and we will definitely keep you posted on, on their performance. Well, thank you guys. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Channel Survivor Africa as you play. And, uh, Good luck. There you have Good it. luck, everybody. This is going to be a blast. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> All right, Explorers, the teams are picked. We have Team Janet and Team Ethan. Our first challenge today is called Without Vowels. Challenge coordinator just here. Today's challenge is called Without Vowels. The only materials you need are a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. Each explorer will be given a number. Whenever your number is called, it's your turn to go head to head with an explorer from the opposing party. You'll see a word puzzle displayed up on the screen and it will be missing all of its vowels. All of the answers to today's puzzles are famous landmarks from around the world. The puzzle will look a little something like this. If there's any punctuation, it'll be included. Otherwise, there will just be spaces between the words that are missing the vowels. Your goal is to be the first explorer to write down the correct answer, hold it up to the screen with correct spelling to earn a point for your party. Whoever is the first one with the correct answer, correctly spelled, mm -hmm. uh, is very important. Point. <laughs> yes. The team with the most points will have exemption we're looking at you Bob. and the second place team <laughs> will meet me at crossroads tonight there all right go. let's and go they're all famous world landmarks famous world landmarks from around the world oh i would landmarks. be useless in this all right yeah, let's right. go <laughs> great wall of china how about that oh so you're not useless <laughs> if they don't get this I saw one it first from justin turn it turn it that way yep let's see. yep great wall of china is correct. Justin was the first one with the answer. All right, uh, Justin got the point on that one. Next, we have Rob versus Rob versus Gideon. All right, whenever you're ready. That's correct. Statue of Liberty. Rob got the point. We have Team Janet with two points. Ethan, not on the board yet. Dakota and Hannah, you're up quick next. Start. That's okay. This can turn around quick. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen in these games. Yeah. Ready to go, Dakota and, and Hannah. We have Hannah with the answer. 
and it is not correct. Oh. No. She probably spelled it wrong. Oh, yep. Yep. That's mm -hmm. correct. Hannah she looks She redeemed the herself. Yeah, there we go. She escaped <laughs> a new world Ethan on the board. Dakota battling her dog and the question. Two to one, Janet. She's lucky this is not like a stacking challenge. We are challenge. going two rounds. <laughs> Next, we have Maddie and Chantel. Okay, I see you guys both. So we're ready to go for the fourth clue. That's correct, Maddie with the point. We have three points for Team Janet, one point for Team Ethan. Okay, so. Can they we keep have the morale up? Jared and Garrett up next. Yeah. Who are our puzzlers? But I okay, I see you both. You need to be up against someone who's not as good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Jeez. Oh, those fast, Can Jared. you raise it, Jared? I want to say Leaning Tower of Pisa. And That's I'm correct. Right. Jared with the correct answer. Maybe I'm not that bad at these. Yeah, you're doing all right. Four to one. Team Janet right. up four to one. Jared and next is we fast. have Daniel versus Gabe. You picked the right person to go twice. Although, I feel like we may have you some of these before. <laughs> it's possible. Oh, this is making it hard. Oh, Taj Mahal. Okay, I got you oh, both. Boom. This this is much better than Explorer the trivia. The correct answer is <laughs> Taj Mahal. Daniel had it up Hiking first. boots? Covered wagons? What? All right, Kyle and Jack, you're <laughs> up next. What's the challenge? Golden Gate Bridge. Poop. Now you're killing it. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, I, you don't have all the letters. He spoke Who's golden wrong. I, I, <laughs> what kind of O is if that? If somebody Kyle? else had eyes on that, I think actually Jack didn't have the E, so Kyle got it first. Sorry, Jack. Tough break for Jack there. Team Here's Janet. Close. just we have a score of six to one. Over Team them. Janet over. Uh, he also team had Ethan. Spelled wrong, though. Jared is up next <laughs> against Ryan. He had a D O N and it's D E N. So, tough luck for Jack. Canadian spelling. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spell all the words different. Oh, Jared is good. Mount Everest yeah, is the correct quick. answer, and Jared Definitely had it first. He stepped up. Seven to one, Team Janet. Wow, Team Janet. Go back this. to the beginning, yeah. Justin versus Will. Oh, this is a tough one. Um, it's, it's probably about the beginning. ING at the end. Yeah, definitely an ING. Oh, that Justin's good. Um, I can't tell what that second letter is, Justin. That's definitely right. What is it? Stonehenge. I've never heard. Stonehenge. I think he might. It might be I, an E. I can't read your handwriting. <laughs> it's a tough one. Justin's elementary school teachers are. How? Ha <laughs> Will hasn't it stolen his answer yet. <laughs> Stonehenge. Uh, Justin got the point. Will's like, no, 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 no. Will no had sorry me. tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to one. We're He's playing 16 rounds. One more point for Janet, Team Janet, and they win. We have Rob versus Gideon. All right, pressure is definitely on for Team Ethan to All right. pull it out. All now. right. Big Ben. We Big Ben is correct. You both got it. I saw Gideon's first. It was very close. Hopefully, out of mercy, they just give it to Gideon just to get team. So the point goes to team Ethan. <laughs> give him a little morale to today. Dakota and <laughs> uh, Dakota and Hannah up next. All right, pressure on to Hannah now. You don't want to be the last one. Like, I mean, no. everyone's gotten a point wrong, but to be the last one, it's like, uh, let's solve it. 
Great. Sphinx. What ends in that Something. Uh Whoever's mic is on, please mute. Jess. That's correct. Great Sphinx of. Uh, I would not have gotten that. You got it, that. Hannah. Yeah. Hannah picks it up. Oh, so blue is coming thing. back. Here we go. That's uh, two in well a row. Done. Well done, Hannah. We have a score of eight to three. No one wants Maddie to and Chantel, score. you're up. I have no idea, but that's what I would have guessed too. <laughs> Where is that's that? Tower Bridge is correct. I saw it first from Maddie. That's nine points for Team Janet. Team Janet has one exemption. Oh. Boom. Big boom. With a score of nine Team to three. And don't give up yet. So we're going to send you guys back to your parties. Uh, Team Ethan, you have an hour to chat at back at camp, and then I'm going to see you at Crossroads. We completely wiped the floor with them. It was it was a shutout. So we go back to camp, and basically it ends up being six of us that are talking all night. Um, Jennifer never came back. We don't know what happened to her. And Dakota had to leave early for a school test. So the six of us are talking, and... Again, it became that thing where it's like no one wanted to be the one to leave. And we're all just hanging out there. So I got to know them. Overall, the group gets along so well, it's going to be devastating if we have to go to Crossroads. So I'm praying that doesn't happen. Um, I was also really excited about the challenge. Geography is something that I'm incredibly passionate about and it was an opportunity for me to step up early and show my worth to my party and I was successful in both of my rounds and I had to go twice because Jennifer wasn't able to participate. So I hope she'll be able to join the group because I um, just want to see what she's about and it just adds a different dynamic to the group. Get to actually make bonds and talk to each other. Um without having to scramble around and try to save ourselves. That's really good. Guys, <laughs> all need to be excited. We need to be pumped and we need to For lift sure. each other up. We can't, we can't be down. We just because right. we lost one challenge doesn't mean we can't come back guys. Yeah. I believe in us. Yeah. We are unit. Yeah. We move as one. Yeah. It's hard because like I don't yeah, that was just... I don't want to vote for anybody right now. Like I don't. Yeah, me either. That's gonna be rough. Too early. Yeah. That's gonna stop. It was fun though watching the Janet and Ethan pick people and all that kind of stuff. Just seeing like what they were thinking in terms of picking people. And yeah. I, I like our tribe. I just I guess our challenge performance. This <laughs> is maybe is our weak spot. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could t typically would do more much better, but the I, first of all, stone change I just would not click for any reason whatever. Like other ones, I would able to, like the least think of. But even if it was just not my challenge, because spelling is also just I don't I can't spell well. I was like, I mean, I was like, oh, I know this, but I can't spell it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so sad. I know. I know. Like, I want to shed a tear. It's such a bummer. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go by the river. Oh. Um, I'll jump in the field. I'll jump in the field. Go to the field. Ah. Hey, guys. Uh, oh, I, I'm glad it's y'all. How y'all doing, man? Yeah, I'm glad it's not too bad. What do y'all think? This is, uh, gonna be wild. Yeah, what are y'all yeah, thinking? This is intimidating. I'm honestly, are you saying, like, what are you thinking in terms of Crossroads or just the tribe in general? First thing, the first thing that I'm, I'm, on my mind is Crossroads. I don't know what to think. I was just wondering what you guys oh, okay. were thinking. Yeah, I've, I've got to be honest with you. I put, like, not much thought into it right now. Um, I'm mainly just kind of feeling people out. I didn't get to talk to everyone yesterday. Yeah. So uh, this is kind of just a way for me to kind of see where everyone's head's at. What yeah. about you? What are you all feeling? Well, I know that I've... Like I wanted to get uh, Jack. I know we haven't like talked a lot. Like I've I've talked a little bit to right. like, Garrett and Ryan. I wanted to, I want, I'm glad that Jack's in here because I wanted to get to know Jack. Yeah, I've not spoke to yeah Garrett or mm -hmm. yeah, I know I Garrett. Jack, I, I know <laughs> Garrett and Ryan and I talked uh, a little bit as well as uh, yeah. Shan Shan uh, Sh Chantel and so, Gabe. Yeah. I haven't yeah. I haven't yeah. spoken to Will yet uh, or Hannah. I have not spoken to you. Spoken to Will. 
I'm glad to see so many. Um, has anyone really spoken to Will? Because I didn't really speak to him either. I I heard you know Will spoke to a lot of us in the <laughs> thing about true. Survivor history. That's true. We I all heard about know. Will. Yeah, but I haven't. Yeah. You know, I haven't had any one-on-one conversations. And the and the only time, uh, the only thing I saw about Will uh, when we all did ha- were forcibly split up was he and Kyle talked for like the whole forty-five minutes. So I never got to talk Dang. to him. Yeah, actually, I think. Um, wait, Ryan, you and I, I talked. I still, to him, didn't we? Garrett, yeah, we yeah, talked a little bit, and Ryan as well. See how much he knows about Survivor. He's a he, a real expert. <laughs> he knows a lot. He. He knew a lot. <laughs> that's all I know about Will right now, so far is how much he knows about Survivor because that's the only yeah. chance. He's the only thing I've heard from him is what he said in the group. I, yeah, you know I, that man's about to write a thesis paper on Survivor, man. He's, yeah. He knows so much about I didn't, you know, I, I thought it, if he knew so much, I really thought he wouldn't spell out Sorry Tribe on, on a paper. <laughs> it kind of it kind of made me mad, I'm not going to lie. But I, I haven't got to know him, so... So how yeah. about we just stick with Will for now, and let's talk to some other people. What do we think about that? Yeah, I'm good I'm with totally that, guys. Good. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. Back to the shelter. Anyone want to do musical chairs? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that how we're going to decide? I don't yeah. know. I mean, anyone, you all can go to the field if you want, or if, we, if anyone wants to go to uh, the outpost with me, I'll go to the outpost. All right. What are you guys thinking? Um, we honestly, the, the one thing we were just talking about in that group was cause somebody was like, Oh, who, what's the name? And we we're like, well, I haven't talked to everyone here yet. And the one name that was kind of coming up that we have talked to, or we've heard a lot from, but not personally was, uh, we talked about Will. That's kind of been mm-hmm. the name we're floating as of now. Um, yeah. obviously, you know, everyone's got their own agenda. So if someone has a different mindset, I'm totally down to hear it out or switch it up. But as of now, that's where I'm going. What are you feeling, Hannah? Um, I was going to say the same thing. Um, okay. We were just in a chat together. Yeah. Um, he doesn't know anybody's names. So he really? didn't have any advice. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and we all know Will's name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You no, know, I feel bad. Yeah, no, this is not how I wanted to start because obviously this is not good for morale, but honestly, if we can somehow come with a unanimous vote and maybe bounce back from this, that would that's that's where my head's at. So if we can come up with one name, right, right that's where I'm kind of looking. I agree with Garrett because my thing right now is like moving forward as unified as possible so that we do as well as we can in the, in the coming challenges because it's like that's... The one thing we gotta focus on, we gotta win challenges. We can't, we can't come back here. I don't want to come back here. I don't want to vote people off. I want to play with the team Ethan. I want someone from team Ethan to end up winning this game. And so it's like, it's like if we can get as unified as possible, that's best case scenario. <sighs> this is hard decision. It it, it, it it is. Well, uh, what what are we based it off of? The air. <laughs> The air? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, people... Oh, gosh, people are splitting up. Chantel, do you want to go by the fire? Yes, let's go. All right. Uh... I was trying to move, 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 you know, move, you know, get to talk to everybody. Yeah, um, I, I wanted to talk to you one-on-one because I know we got to know each other on uh, the first yes. day. Um, yes. and I, and I didn't like that you weren't a part of our uh, group that we were talking in the outpost or in the field. Cause obviously that's the biggest group. Um, yeah. I think me, or it seemed that me, Ryan, Garrett, and Jack threw out Will's name. Okay. So I threw out Will's name to, uh, it seems like a lot of people are throwing it out. You know, I was like, name? You know, I did. I would. I didn't want to push Will, but I was just like, "What are you guys thinking?" And they were like, "Will," and I was like, "Yeah," because I don't know. Did you saw how he wrote "Sorry Tribe"? Like you didn't even try to write anything. You can't be doing that. Like my competitiveness cannot take that at all. It's like you just you just threw in the towel for no reason. Yeah, because me and you are so solid, and I I I feel a connection with you. I don't want to talk too long because I don't want to raise suspicion. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um. Yeah, everyone is really stressed. Yeah, I, can, I can imagine. I was just like, 
I was just thinking, I don't know how I'm going to pick someone for tonight. Like, I don't know if I was going to I have no idea. Or something, but I like everyone. What about you? What? Do you know, like, how you're going to pick or how you're going to choose? I have no idea. I'm going to, I'm trying to think um, further down the road and see people who I have connections to. I feel like you, me, Gideon, and Jack are all really young, so we can connect that way. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also are you Filipino? Yeah. Oh, can you tell? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'm cool. Cool. I'm it. Um, so we're both Southeast Asian. So that's kind of a bond. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I was thinking that too. Like uh, when we were first all introducing ourselves, I was like, hey. The <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey. Yeah. And the an Asian chair. That's so cool. Yeah. I really like it a lot. Yeah. So. What are your thoughts about the crossroads tonight? If I had to say I was leaning towards anyone, I'd say Chantal just because she lost it. But I don't want to say that because all of the pressure was on each of us. Whoever was going to be the last one to get it wrong, it, they would have the pressure on them. So that's why like, I don't want to say that either. Um, yeah. Do you have anyone you're leaning towards? Um, I was thinking her. I'm just glad. Oh. That like me, you, uh, what's his name, Gideon, are on the same tribe. It's like yes, so, me the too. Person, me the too. only other person we're missing is Maddie. When Janet called her name, I was like, no. I <laughs> know. I was so that it was between like you guys. I was like, oh. I know. It's crazy. Uh, this game is crazy already. <laughs> I all do it. Doing scared. Wedding. <laughs> Why, Will? Uh, just because I was able to. Me I was messing up twice at the thing. I was one of the people since I guess going first, all the pressure and. Uh, well, you were put in a very precarious situation, Will. Yeah. So, and it hurt anything or thinking about anyone? Kind of get a feel of everyone's personalities. That's what that's what I've heard is get a feel for it. Get a feel for people. Get a feel for people. I mean, obviously, I think by now everybody notices there's a clue room, and I saw a few people go into the clue room. I like jumped into it, and it was like, oh, I can't like they like wouldn't show the clue or whatever it was. It's so deep, I did not get survivor. It. Yeah, Janet's survivor place plus Ethan's survivor place. Huh? Well, That's I know Janet was fifth. Yeah. Who went? Uh, I've I've been there when I was a point. It was like everyone else was in rooms. I could not go in. Uh, mm. It's uh, <clears throat> Ethan's lowest placement plus Janet's placement. Send it that number to. And I I just can't remember uh, Ethan's like fourth boot in Winners at War, which is his lowest placement. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But instead of like, oh, yes, going farther and further on, I just, and I can't remember what Janet was. Mm. Is it IOI? I thought it was what seasons they were in, so I was wrong. <laughs> I can keep guessing. Uh -huh. I do. I just... But if it, but it, if the clue's been found, then he'll like, won't he tell you that the clue's been found? What? I'm pretty sure Janet was fifth anyways. I don't remember Ethan. Oh, but honestly, this is this is the crew that I honestly have been wanting to talk to. Oh, oh, she's looking at the clue. Okay, I get you. I was like, okay, I guess not. <laughs> but no, I did want to talk to you two. You two seem like the most fun, chill people of the crew. And so I just wanted to see where your guys' head was at. Um, I don't know, man. I'm nervous. Like, part of me is thinking, yeah. like, what if it's me? It's like voted out. But I feel, mm, I feel so bad just because it's like the first one. It's, I don't know. I already feel bonded because we're all team Ethan. Right. Uh, I'm actually surprised. I think I think that's all of our feeling right there. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's been a, it's such a mixture of a day for me. Sure. Started off not great, then it's like then it's like so that then it was fall not great, followed by anxiety over this, mm. and then it's like oh getting to Ethan oh Ethan picked me and I'm lost the challenge. He's not going home. Mm hmm. Yep. I agree. I don't know if he'll be able to find it because I don't know how easy these clues are to find because it's the whole freaking internet they have to search for. Yeah. But And I don't even know the clue. So has he told any of y'all the clue yet? I was told 
uh, by Garrett. Um, but I didn't get the whole thing because I'm not good at writing it down. But this is all I got down. I assume from what you just said, sounds like a YouTube video with the challenge. That's a good Is idea. that a bad assumption? Check the comments because that was how it was last season. If you want to search your, if you want to search the web right now and look in the comments, just go Ethan Son All Stars All Stars Challenge. Guys, oh. what's going on? So we're all back Yo. in the shelter. All back in the shelter. Yeah. I looked at you and said, Oh oh oh. Don't hate me. There you go. That's it. That's all I have. So was everyone able to find the clue then? Was so I know everyone was searching for it. <laughs> you all were searching for it. Uh -huh. I gave up honestly. I gave up too. Once once he was like, oh, it could be possibly on a YouTube video, I was like, I'm out. Welcome to Crossroads, Team Ethan. I'm sure this is not where you wanted to be tonight, but this is where you are now. Before we get started, just to show off hands, who's more nervous right now than me? Okay, ev everybody's nervous, uh, including myself. Let's talk about the challenge, because that did not go well for you guys, did it? Chantal, tell me about the, the challenge today. Uh, yeah, uh, didn't go well at all. I thought that uh, we, I feel like we could have been a little bit faster with our answers, but I mean, they beat us fair and square. They, they definitely did that. Yeah. Nothing much we can do about it, but hopefully we can come back from this. Some sometimes in in crossroads, you maybe we focus on somebody who had a particularly bad performance. But I think in this case, we can go to Hannah. Hannah, you had a particularly great performance. You scored two of your team's three points. Talk to me about the challenge from your side. Um. It was, my hands are still kind of shaking. Um, it was intimidating to get your answers written down quickly and then to have them spelled right. Like my answer wasn't spelled right. I think I got lucky who I was against. So I think that's really what it came down to. Everybody put up answers and we tried to get it up there. So it's just a game of timing. And like I said, I'm like still shaking from the adrenaline. Yeah. The, it, would anybody admit to maybe feeling that their their performance today uh, might influence the vote? So, Will, why don't you touch on that? I mean, just being one of the, the few people who actually got to go twice and me missing uh, both times is just is just rough, especially with the second time around. Uh, I, I just could not think of Stonehenge. Um, a lot of the other ones I probably wouldn't have gotten right because I can't spell uh, quickly. <laughs> but I, I, I just, it, when you're looking for something this early in the game, it, it, it's always just more of my game has been out there and it's both been failures. So it's like that that's rough to feel good and like comfortable here after that. Gabe, do you think that, that people made possibly alliances on the first night that might influence the rest of the game? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm not too sure. I actually had a bit of trouble trying to like figure out which room to get into since all of them were kind of full. So for, like for the first like, I don't know, five minutes, I was just chilling alone. But um, I don't I don't think it's quite impossible. People can form alliances like really quickly, but I'd say it's not likely. Garrett, what happened with you over on, on day zero? How was your experience? Uh, my experience was fine. I jumped into that big group and then I left because I figured, oh, you know, people want to talk with other people. And I went into the shelter for probably a solid 10 minutes and I was dancing and listening to music, just chilling in the shelter on my own, which was a blast. But also, you know, I didn't really do much. Um, I'm kind of in the same boat with Gabe. I think 
if anyone did make an alliance on day zero, it's a bold move because you had no idea who was even on your tribe. So that would be wild if anyone actually did do it. You know, props to you if you lucked out and that that alliance ended up being on this tribe. But my guess is I doubt that there was any alliance uh, made day zero. Ryan, tonight we were joined by our survivor heroes, Ethan and Janet. Uh, what was that experience like for you? And, and, and at that point, did you expect them to uh, jump in like that? Were you anticipating that? So I am a relatively new Survivor fan. My friend got me into it and I blasted through season 28, Kagayan. But that has been the only season I've watched so far. So seeing these two random faces come in, um, <laughs> I could tell that they were very important based on the reactions of everyone in the room. These were important people. So I was trying to figure out who, who are they? Um, they seem like really uh, incredible players, handsome, beautiful, um, everything you could put in a human being. So it was pretty awesome seeing such respected people. And when I get to watch their seasons, I'm definitely going to be blown away by the fact that I got to meet them. Will, you you actually said that that uh, Ethan was one of your favorite survivors and then he picked you. Yeah. How was that? that? that. First. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the group that, oh, that. It, it's been a roller coaster of emotions today, uh, not getting too much into it. Uh, did, the day did not have a good start for me. Um, and then it was anxiety for this, like uh, building up. And then to see see Ethan, hear his voice, which I got so emotional just even hearing his voice for the first time on Winners of War uh, after All Stars, after that long gap. Um, and then just to hear him say my name, I am literally in tears. I'm just, it's because my friend got me to watch Survivor and I was just like, yeah, meddling around with it. It wasn't until uh, Ethan, who was my first correct winner pick, knowing nothing about the season, because he had similar hair to mine. It's something I'll probably remember for the rest of my life. Just even just hearing, seeing him on the, being in a call with him. It, it, it's just, it was just amazing. <laughs> Uh, we picked the parties. We had the competition. Gabe, what happened when you guys got back to the uh, back to the shelter? Uh, at first, it was um, we were we were all just kind of talking about how stressed out we were that we were that we lost. We were kind of discouraged, but eventually, we all kind of just relaxed a little bit and figured we should spend the time to like just relax with one another. Um, I tried to juggle a little bit, and then. <laughs> Gideon actually had like a little concert for us, which was really nice. Was really, um, he plays like really well. Uh, at Thank you. A lot of like our feelings of like discomfort, but at the end of the night, I know we're still voting someone out. So, yeah. So, so you're telling me you guys just hung out in the shelter the whole time? You had one hour, and everybody just stayed in the shelter the whole time? No, I'm. I'm pretty sure we had some discussions. There was a point earlier on when we were all stressed out where we broke out into several rooms. Um, people talked a little bit. All right, um, Ger Garrett, did you see the same thing? Did you see people jumping around? Yeah, I would say the, for like the first half or so, we were all kind of jumping around, uh, talking to people. Um, and I thought that was kind of a good way of getting an idea of where people's heads were at because, you know, the smaller groups, obviously you feel a little bit more like, okay, I can kind of speak my mind. Um, and so it was kind of good to kind of get that out instead of, which I feel like could have, this could have possibly happened instead of maybe strategizing near the end of the hour where we're all just kind of stressed out about it. It seemed like most of the strategy happened the first half, which made for a, pr a pretty pleasant second half where we got to listen to music and watch someone juggle. And, uh, so that kind of uh, worked out in our favor. So everybody what you guys what i'm hearing and and somebody disagree with me if 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 this isn't correct what i'm hearing is that everybody got all of their strategy talk out in half an hour and then the second half hour you guys just had a good hangout session is it somebody for somebody this is not going to be a good thing right somebody somebody just wasted 30 minutes that they could have pleaded their case to the to the uh uh, rest of the party. Ryan, do you feel like you had a chance to talk to everybody that you wanted to talk to? 
Yes, surprisingly, I did、um, get to talk to everyone I felt like I had a connection to. Everyone I talked to, I feel like I'm on great terms with, and I really enjoy being around them. So I hope I, I hope they feel the same way about me. Jack, has anybody、uh, back at camp has anybody assumed any sort of leadership role? Um, not to my knowledge,、uh, we seem like a pretty unified group that's like moving together as a team. There is not like a, a captain yet. I'm, I'm sure potentially something like that would emerge、um, in a challenge setting. There was that brief period of strategy, and then it was just like like calming everyone's nerves, like juggling show, concert. Everyone was just trying to, you know, ease the tension and get on good terms with everyone. Is the tension back? I think. Coming to Crossroads is always tense for everyone. I I know I'm shaking right now, but I have faith in the people that I spoke to, and hopefully they share the same faith in me. Hannah, did you have any discussions, or was there any talk about maybe any advantages、uh, coming into Crossroads? Um, there was a discussion about the advantages.、Um, If you got an opportunity to go look, you could submit.、Um, not sure if anyone got the answer correct.、Um, when we all came together at the end, we all discussed it. So, kind of felt very heroes versus villains, where Boston Rob tried to get his tribe not to look for the immunity idol. So we could be doing that. I don't know.、Um, but I do think part of the last thirty minutes was. All of us have been in our little rooms for COVID for the past eleven months, so it's just like a chance to socialize. I think、yeah. we all really needed that, so it was nice just to have some sort of connection. Oh, that's cool. That's good.、Yeah. Um, Gideon,、uh, do you think that the advantages、uh, or potential advantages are playing into the vote tonight for anybody? I don't. I don't know.、Um, uh, to speak a little bit more on what Hannah said, it seemed like at the last half that really nobody was, you know, vigorously, t- you know, searching、uh, because, you know, I-, I saw, you know, from most people, hands are like this, hands are like this, you know. So it didn't really seem like a lot of people were bothering to look. So if it was found,、uh, I don't know who could have found it. I saw multiple people go into the clue room.、Uh, so I don't know. Uh, it could have been found in the first thirty minutes, I guess, but I don't know. Will, what are you basing your vote on tonight? <laughs> Who I、uh, got along with the, the most, I could see me, who I can see me working with、uh, and helping the tribe overall the most, is <laughs>、uh, <laughs> which is still being decided for me as as this is going on. I am. Uh, which makes me very nervous. How about you, Garrett? What what's important for you for tonight's vote? Um, I think trying to get us a, a rebound. You know, trying to get us to where we can kind of come back and bounce back from this challenge. I think the the worst case scenario of this, no matter how who goes out, is if the tribe was split, because that's just going to make a mess. I think for the line to come. So I, for me personally, it was about. Trying to see if we can somehow get one name、um, and, and try to stick with it, but you know it's you know、uh, exhibition online is not that easy. So it's possible that there were multiple names that maybe this is more split than、uh, I believe. But I think the goal for us, in my opinion, is to try to keep、uh, a solid seven, so that way we can try to rebound from、uh, a rough start. Let's say. It, it seemed like there were a lot of、uh, head nods,、uh, so I'm not going to go around the room and ask the same question because the feedback seems like、uh, people are kind of on the same page there. Does anybody else have anything they they would like to add, or or anybody feel like they need to plead their case before we vote? Yeah, I <sighs> talking about a strong seven and. Me not knowing who to vote for is not a good sign. So I, I mean, I know the show well enough. I am a physical person. I work with my hands, so I have an en- can do well in endurance challenges.、Uh, so I, I, 
as I, while I can't spell, I do it. I was able to figure out most of the things. So I am not just a. I have some in like puzzle uh, stuff in my mind. I just, I just. It was not just opening challenge for me, but I, I know I can do much better um, uh, than I was able to show today. All right, thanks, Will. Uh, anybody else want to? Anything else to say? Anybody want to say anything before we vote? All right, it is time to vote. We have the votes. I'm going to read them now. The person who receives the most votes is not out of the game. They will join the Trail of Deserted where they ha will have an opportunity to get themselves back into the game. If anybody has a hidden advantage that you'd like to play, now's the time to do it before I read the votes. Okay. First vote is for Will. The second vote is for Gabe. That's one vote Will, one vote Gabe. The third vote is for Gabe. Two votes Gabe, one vote Will. Our fourth vote is for Will. That's two votes Will, two votes Gabe. Our fifth vote is for Will. That's three votes Will, two votes Gabe. Our next vote is for Will. That's four votes Will, two votes for Gabe. And our next vote is for Will. Will, that's enough votes. You've received the most votes. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Win for Ethan, that's that's all I can say. I appreciate that, Will. Will, how about if you stick around? Uh, everybody else, head back to your party. You can hang out until 11 o'clock and... Yes, sir. Have a nice night. Will, sorry that you were voted out. What do you think happened? people got together and said randomly threw out a name name was mine then told everyone else I was like oh and he knows about the game so Casey has an idol throw a vote on Gabe you didn't get a chance to, to play with this team but you're not out of the game you do have a, a very extensive knowledge of this genre and you know that you do have a chance to get back in with the trailer deserted um, so just hang out here and uh, we'll, we'll tell you more about the Trail of the Deserted. All right. Will, unfortunately, the first person to be deserted at Crossroads. He does not go home, though. And so the Trail of the Deserted allows for um, deserted players to have a chance to battle their way back into the game. Um, mm -hmm. he, Jess, what's your take on kind of how the way things went down there? Will, obviously, upset uh, to be the first one voted Yeah. Out. You know, obviously it sucks. No one wants to be the first person voted out, but I don't think he pitched himself enough. Mm -hmm. He didn't use the time he was given to really make his case to them. And and, and unfortunately, I think he underestimated the rest of his party members, thinking that they, no one had a plan going in. I mean, mm -hmm. unfortunately, when you're going into Crossroads, if you don't have a plan, the plan's probably you. And uh, it was not a seven to one vote. It actually ended up being a six to two vote. Garrett uh, and Will were the two votes on Gabe. Um, what are your thoughts on Garrett th throwing a vote there in, in case uh, that Will was able to pull out um, an advantage? That was smart. It was good on his part to do that because I mean, he didn't want himself to go home or any of his alliance members. Yeah. Now, what do you think about on Gabe though? How is Gabe's reaction going to be? I think he'll be hunting down whoever yeah. it is, but I think he's going to have a hard time getting any answers, so mm -hmm. chaos ensues. Chaos ensues, exactly, <laughs> yep. That is the name of the game, so that will pretty much wrap up day one for us of Expedition Online Season 2. 
Ooh. We want to thank Ethan and Janet for joining us. Mm -hmm. Team captains. We, we should see them along the way. Yeah, great charities that everyone's playing for. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. See you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>